cheese, individually one after another, but you should take the lulav, it's, but they're all before you, and what bracha do you say? You say, al tilus lulav. He says, what happens? He said, al tilus lulav. And before you took the next species, you spoke. Right? They all contribute to the mitzvah. So the, the Ramos says, you have to say another bracha. Because you spoke, you didn't complete the mitzvah. You spoke before the mitzvah was completed. Right? Originally, he has the Dalit minim. He has the Lulav, the Esrug, the Adas, and the Arobe. He takes each one in front of him. See, he says he should take the Lulav, say, Altilus Lulav, and subsequently he takes all four. What happens? He takes one, says, Altilus Lulav, he speaks. Now he's about to take the Hadas. Mm. Hadas, what bracha does he say? Does he say Altilus Lulav? He's not able to say Altilus Lulav because he already took the Lulav. So evidently, the Nusach, the text of the bracha, is a different text. He speaks after he takes the Hadas, and now he has to take the Arova. Does he say Altilus Hadas? Hadasim? Can't say that because he's, he's about to take that rubber. Right, so that's what he speaks about. The Hainu al Adas Omer al Tilas Eitz Ovos. The Torah refers to the Adas, doesn't say Hadasim in the Torah, it says Anaf Eitz Ovos. It's a braided branch. Right? Vala Rova al Nitilas Arova. Vachena Lesrog. Komokom Sharkach. Gamken Yazu Vikochim Kulam Viachad. But he says after he takes all four. He should take them together. In Berach Alulo Vachab Habrocha Rosh Lo Hoi Bo Hadas O Arovo Shoyu Psulim O Mupochim. He says, "What happens? He takes it. He realizes he doesn't have he doesn't have the other species, or he took them inverted. Right? We had it earlier. If you take it inverted, you're not Yotzei. Im Hoi Lo Hadas O Arovo Beveso Ba Open Shein Tzorch Lahapsik Bein Taim Kdei Lika Chosam." Let's say he knows. He originally, let's say he's in one room of the house, and he thought he had all four. He says, I'll tell us love. Then he realizes he's missing one. He realizes that the Arovo wasn't there. So he has to go get it, and it's, it's a period of time. It's not going to be a hefsik. The lapse of time is not considered a hefsik. Vivorech halosa min shoho yenechsar. I know a rova, you vorech al tilas a rova, al das tilas eights ovos. I mean, whatever species was not there. So originally we said the brocha, he did not have them there. Did not, he did not have all. So therefore the brocha is not a valid brocha, what he originally said. No, you don't say a brocha, you don't say a brocha. Here he, he has all four. He originally thought he had all four in front of him. Turned out only he had three. Now he goes and gets the fourth. When he, but factually, he took the first three. He said a bracha. So now when he takes, finds the one that was missing, he should say the bracha on that one. In terms, now today, since it's on the same day, he took all four species on the same day. You don't have to take all four species simultaneously. Because when he originally said the shechionu, you say both brachas before you start. No, now he's saying something interesting. Let, let's say he doesn't have it. He has three species, and he realizes he doesn't have the fourth. It's not even available to him. Then subsequently, somebody brings him the fourth. So that's like he wasn't Yotze, because when he had the first three, he did not have the fourth. If you have all four initially, so even if you take them sequentially, you Yotze. But if you have three of the four, and then subsequently somebody brings you the fourth, the first three aren't considered mitzvah. It's not considered you took the mitzvah. Then you have to take over all four, you have to take over again. Yet, Sorach Levori, he says, you have to take all four over again. Because initially, you factually only had three. You didn't have a fourth. No, you, you take a zecher. The zecher, you take it. You don't say a brocha. Definitely not a brocha. It's not a mitzvah. You're not smelling. The mitzvah, what do you say? I said, has not no relevance. Okay. Okay. So, so then, upon okay. 
what, what, what are you doing? What role does it have to do with Zeichen? Take a, take a box of Besomim. What does it have to do with it? But why should you say Brochet? You're saying the Brochet for the sake of the mitzvah. There because you're benefiting from the fragrance. It has nothing to do with the mitzvah. What you said, what the brachal of atola you said is a brachal of atola, right? That's gone already. Let's see, take the summon. He say bo priya eats, right? It's a brachal of atola, correct? He said, well, since I said I might as well say bo rabidim summon. What is one thing after another? It's not a correction. The brachal of atola is a brachal of atola. I mean, you said a brachal, it's in vain, right? So now I'll say I'll say atzi besum. So what am I accomplishing? You know why Alan asked this question? He wants to show us that he knows when you take Hadassim, you don't say Borimim, you say Atsi Besame. He wants to show me he still remembers the halacha. Okay. Yes. Of course, it's Bethic Morris, of course, it's, it's the most obvious of the, of the species in terms of land. It's Fort Vachim. It's the largest. That's the reason. And also because usually when we spit the heater, you. you, you, you you put three in one band. So since it has the, the, the majority of the minim are associated with the lulav, that's what you say the lulav. It's the largest of the three. That's the reason. <coughs> now we're not talking. In this case, the, the talking is absent. And then you speak. So you have to say same thing, same thing, same thing. Okay. Tzorach levarech al arbata and yach pam sheni al tilos lulav kev shlo yimetzui and oz etzlo bayis lo yotzei gam al lulav. You have to have all four species available to be yotzei at a certain time. For sheposke mechaber tzorach levarech olav pam shniyo v'mhoize biyom ri tzorach levarech gam shechiyonu pam shenis. Okay. It seems to be from here that if he says they have to be available immediately, it says the bias. Let's say, you know, I have three in the house. When I go to shul, I'll get my fourth. Seems to be it's not sufficient. You have to bring the three to get all four together. Okay. Lo yika lo Yosef min acher al bat al abbas hamidim bishul bal tosif. Okay, yesterday David spoke about bal tigra, right? Doing a mitzvah deficiently. Now he says you want to add a fifth species to it. He says you should not add a fifth species bishul bal tosif because you're changing the whole structure, the profile of the mitzvah you're adding. Lo yika min acher bishul bura the osi lemiti lika gamkin bishar shonim. Excuse me, I I I, I skip I skip you Gimel, you Gimel I skip. Im choselo echad mi aminim. Let's say one of the four species is missing. He only has three. Lo yikach mi nachem yimkomo. You shouldn't put a fourth in its place. Now, okay, we skip this one. Now, y if you have three, what do you take? Three zecher. So if it's zecher, so let's do it a bit better. Put add a fourth species. So at least the zecher is the four species. If you have three, the zecher is only doesn't have the profile. It's le in number. You only have three, so let's add a fourth, and say that's a zecher. No, but so he says the problem is because he next because all over time you may believe that that fourth species is, is the correct species. That would not be baltosif. Baltosif when you have the mitzvah and then you add to the mitzvah. Here you have three. No, it's not Baltigra. It's not Baltigra. You have three. No, no, you only have three. No, so we said earlier, if you have three, you should take three for a zecher. Okay, now, the person says, if I make a zecher, no, of course no, bracha. If I already want to make a zecher, might as well eat a fourth, even though it's not one of the species, but at least I have, it has the profile of four. He says, that you should not do. Because mistakenly, over time, you may believe that is the fourth species. Okay. Wait a minute. Lo yigach mi achdosi lemiti likach gamkei b'shashonim. 
מה שאין כן כשחוסר מן אחד, לא יובו ליטוס לסטאפי בשנה בו בשלושה מין. No, but everybody understands that's already so fixed in place, four species. The mitzvah lulav is four species. הכל יודעים שצורך הבא מינים, that's something whatever everyone knows. Like everybody knows, פרשת זוכר, what do you read? Right? You read that after Sessah Dibros, you know? פרשת זוכר means, בכי סמולי, everybody knows that. It's so ingrained in people's minds. But it's four, the question is, which four? No, we're talking about, we're talking about people, people, people are Amaratsam, they don't know. We're talking about what the average person knows when you're doing a zecher. Maybe I see that. I was just going to say that. It's giving us this. What's a tovah native have to do? A tovah native is, is, is equivalent to Shekhi Yonu. So what is that? Well, that's been fourth rate. Right? You don't have them. You take a basimon instead of a lula, instead of the esrit, because you don't have an esrit. What does that do? A tovah native. Does it make the grade? Yeah. Were you yotze the first day? So you, the first day you yotze even with the with a deficient. It, it, if it meets the the minimum grade, you yotze. So the, the, later somebody comes with an outstanding answer. Okay. So what do you do? So what should you say? What should you say? To Shechiona, you say it's not because of the beauty. It's yeah, because of the mitzvah. You yotzei the mitzvah already. It's not the first time you yotzei the mitzvah. You yotzei the mitzvah. Okay? Yudalit. Lo yosif min acher al bar saminim mishu bal tosif. Lo yosif min acher ayin beisios dato da afilu im enu mechavim behedjul of shem mitzvah lulav. Even if his intent is not to be yotzei the mitzvah. That, that has nothing with Shekhi Yonu. That's specific to wine, but that, no, that's specific to wine. Forget about Kiddush. Forget about Kiddush. Right? You're at a restaurant, and you're drinking one bottle, one type of wine. The person you're there says, you know, something, I'm going to order a bottle, and you weren't expecting that bottle. Better quality wine. You say, I told made it. has nothing to do with mitzvah whatsoever. It's, that's something which is specific to wine. You order a bottle, better uh, quality whiskey, you don't say it's overmated. Something specific, which is specific to wine. Okay. I be so that or that filum in a mcham head of shimitsis lula of gamkin also. Let's see a person has in mind when, when are you in violation of altosif? You're in violation of altosif if you have in mind to enter the mitzvah. The man is not doing that. It's only purely for the sake of zecher. I am Baralochi, he says, nevertheless, you're in violation of Baltosif. Why? Because the Gemara says, if it's Zmana Mitzvah, if it's Zmana Mitzvah, you're in violation. The Gemara says that if a Kohen goes, who says Birchus Kwanim, and he adds a fourth bracha, he adds his own bracha, he's in violation of Baltosif. Because there says the three brachas, not four brachas. But let's say a person sits in the sukkah, on Shemini Atzeres in Israel. You're not in violation of Altosif. Why? So Mar says, Shemini Atzeres in Israel is definitely not Sukkot. Sukkot is over. So Mar says, if you have in mind that you want to extend the mitzvah, then you're in violation of Altosif. But if you just want to stay in the Sukkot on the eighth day, not for the sake of the mitzvah, then you're not in violation. But a Kohen who wants to add a fourth bracha to the Birchus Kwanim, he is in violation. Why? Because a Kohen, every time he comes upon a tzibur, he has an obligation to, to, to say that, to bless that tzibur. So he's always within the time of the mitzvah. If you're within the time that you're, you're fulfilling the mitzvah, even if one doesn't have in mind to be a violation of adding to the mitzvah, you're in violation. If, if actually you do add to the mitzvah. So over here, what are we talking about? During sukkah, you only have three species. You add a fourth. Regardless of what your intent is, it doesn't make a difference. But since it's mana mitzvah, it's the time of the mitzvah. Unfortunately, you don't have the fourth species. And you add some other species. Mesho says you're in violation of Altosif. Even though your intent is not to add to the mitzvah. 
But actually you are. You're changing the profile of the mitzvah. So once Sukkot is over, there's no profile of mitzvah. We're not speaking of mitzvah any longer. Therefore, after Sukkot, you will not be in violation. So if you want to have like that, what they call mock Seder, right? You have a mock, what's his name? Mock Lulav. And you want to teach children how, and you can use a sun-kissed lemon, or whatever else. They're not in violation. Because they understand they're not be doing it for sake of mitzvah. And it's not, it's before Sukkot. So it's not a problem. There's no baltosit. No, so even if he... Re- no. No, 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 no. This Bichas Kohanim, not his call for our Leah. Because he's always... Bes- it is a problem. problem. Always a problem. Mm-hmm. Of course the first... No, of course. Th- no, that's the question. If he already was Mavorich Nitzibur, if he already said Bichas Kohanim once today, and now he wants to add another bracha, is he in violation? A fourth. fourth. He said the three, now he wants to add a fourth. No, no, no. An hour later. He says, I'm going to bless you people with a fourth blessing. It's a problem. Why? Because at this moment, if there is a, a tzibur, any tzibur that he comes upon, he has an obligation to bless them. So he says the fourth, if, if there would be a different set of people, he already was born this tzibur. He only has an obligation to give, give a bracha to a tzibur once, that particular group of people. But let's say a new, a new group of people present themselves. And somebody would say, Kohanim. He has an obligation to say the bracha. If he's summoned to bless, he has an obligation to bless. It's our obligation. So since if that would be the case, so at this moment when he has, says that fourth bracha, that's called Zman mitzvah. That's called he's within, still within the time of doing the mitzvah. It's greater than now with doesn't make a difference because... It's still time of the mitzvah. It doesn't have to go with the bracha to, for that which you want to No, 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 no. That's rabbinical. That's all rabbinical. It's just, okay. uh, right? The bracha is you're blessing them. It's not the introductory bracha. That's for him fulfilling the mitzvah. Right. So, if I put my first and I made the bracha, and then when it comes to the question in the hallway, I want to just be hidden Um, rabbinically, you'd be in violation of Baltosa. On a Torah level, no. Not Torah, I say. What have I done in the Torah? Nothing. It's not the mitzvah any longer. The mitzvah's over. Right. Right, right, right. Exactly. Exactly. So if you want to get a rise out of people, you walk into shul, you ready to at home, you walk into shul, you have orchids and roses in the lulav. They said that's supposed to be on top of the machitza, not in your hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs>